you just, you really have to practice. You really have to just do what you're doing, what you're saying, just with, and I agree, you have to, it, if you really want to do this, it's easier to do it. In some ways, it's easier to do it with other animals because you're more objective. Um, with your own animals, you're automatically connected. It's just that it's harder to trust what you get because you already know what you want to hear or what you're afraid to hear. So you want to trust your first instinct. But the one that I want that hasn't been mentioned that I want to make sure people don't overlook is the simple fact of talking to them. Talking to them in words. Um, <laughs> Um, because while animals won't, don't understand, so to speak, English necessarily, they do understand intent. And all of our words, we speak with intent. So if you've got an animal that is afraid to go, you know, has, a tr has trouble going to the vets, then make sure to prepare them. You know, tell them, okay, in two days, we're going to get into your carrier, and we're going to go to the vets, you're going to go to the doctors, but then you're going to come home with me. Okay, in one day, we're going to go, in two hours, and don't let anybody tell you that animals don't know how to tell time. They know how to tell time, and they know how to see colors. Um, so, you know, prepare them. If, if you're going to be going on a trip, make sure to tell them well in advance, because they will understand when you speak to them, you can speak with them with your voice, you can speak with your heart.